Hello, my name is Mary Ann McPhail, and I work in the Facilities Department here at Longyear Museum. One of my responsibilities is to lay bricks in the Pleasant View Walk. We call these bricks the Living Stones. Every spring we dig out the plain bricks and smooth over the stone dust bed and lay each new brick engraved with a name or names. Over the years, I've installed over 2,000 of these living stones. It's a real joy to see visitors to Longyear find their stone. Longyear's directory holds over 3,000 names and tells what particular section any particular stone is in. Off the visitors go, camera in hand, on a scavenger hunt of sorts. In addition to their own stone, most also find names of friends and family and others within our worldwide Christian Science community. Out on the Living Stones walkway, I love to hear the excited chatter of people reconnecting with this cloud of witnesses to healings. The term cloud of witnesses comes from the book of Hebrews in the Bible. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. So all of these witnesses represent lives touched and healed by Christian science. The walkway begins at the Pleasant View Gate that once welcomed people to Mary Baker Eddy's beloved home in Concord, New Hampshire, Pleasant View. It's one of three outdoor artifacts that also include the Pleasant View Summer House and Fountain. All three were gifts to Longyear Museum from the Mother Church. Former director John Barron said that gratitude built this museum. In setting out to build a museum dedicated to the life history of Mary Baker Eddy, the very first fundraising effort the trustees undertook was selling bricks with names engraved on them. As word went out, requests for the bricks began to pour in. The Living Stones continue to be a popular way for people to support Longyear's mission. The walkway lives up to its name. Each living stone represents a life benefited by Christian science. Some honor early students of Mrs. Eddy. Many are Christian science practitioners, teachers, Sunday school teachers, Christian science nurses, grandparents, parents, and children. Lives enriched by the practice of Christian science. Where does the name Living Stones come from? It comes from hymn 176 in the Christian Science Hymnal, Long hast thou stood, O Church of God. The last verse reads, Living stones we, each in his place. May we be worthy such a grace, while truth the wide earth enlightens. Thank you for taking this walk with me today on the Living Stones walkway. I look forward to welcoming you to Longyear and we can find your living stone.